Welcome Scorpio to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great as good. I welcome messages of love and light to bring healing love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to also spray down my area. All right, so let's go ahead and check into your love life, Scorpio. <laughs> Spirit, please bring focus on a Scorpio and the person who is connected to them and love for the month of March. What do we need to know about the person that is connected to Scorpios in love in the month of March? What do we need to know about the person that is connected to Scorpios in love? What truth can you reveal to me about the person that is connected to Scorpio in love? Two more energies, please, spirit, in regards to a person connected to Scorpio. What truth can be revealed about the person that is connected to Scorpio in March? What does the collective Scorpios need to know about their love interest? Two more energies, please, Barry. Oh. Wow. <laughs> well, Scorpio. <laughs> Overall, um, I see a friend, a family. It could be a co-worker. Also, we have friend, friendly, friendship. An announcement about a girlfriend or a boyfriend so scorpio okay month uh, the month of march is going to be kind of nice from what i can see um there could be an announcement that your person uh would like to introduce you as their boyfriend or girlfriend or it could just be a friend okay take as resonates but i really feel like this uh situation or this relationship that you have with this person is going to deepen there's a lot of friend friendships girlfriend boyfriend energies this actually feels really good so in order to have a grounded solid relationship you have to be best friends with your lover right you know, it all starts with, you know, a strong relationship, being able to tell your, your friend your deepest and darkest secrets um, and, and really be open and vulnerable. You know, that's what I feel. So that's actually a really good energy. So let's go ahead and clarify. Spirit, please clarify the energies of this person that is connected to Scorpio and love. Clarify the energies of the person connected to Scorpio and uh, dang. <laughs> one final message or energy and come through. Thank you. All right, so we have your finances and it came up in reverse. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. Wow. So since it came up in reverse, I have a feeling that uh, your person's financial outlook is improving. So now that, you know, their sense of stability is improving, you know, um, they want to be more friendly, more chummy with you. Their spirits are being lifted from what I can see. Also, we have different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. So maybe 
be perhaps uh, you guys are not in alignment with your goals. And also we have interference and external party is intruding in on this relationship. It came up neutral. So there is no longer an interference. And finally, we have balance. One person is giving way too much in this relationship, but it came up in reverse. So this relationship, I feel, is balanced. So things are actually balancing out with a friendship with your lover. Okay, and I really feel like once you become friends, uh, for some, you guys will uh, take it to the next level as a girlfriend and boyfriend. That's what I'm seeing. You know, this different pages here, you and this person don't share the same vision. I really feel that, um, you know, there could be a, like a discrepancy here that you guys are not seeing eye to eye. But aside from that, I really feel that uh, you guys, and, and that could be a work situation. Okay, so just because you guys are two peas in the pod don't mean that you guys have to uh, mirror each other perfectly in every way. <laughs> I mean, because that would be boring, right? You know, if, if your person was exactly like you, you want, you want something different, right? Uh, that's what I'm seeing. So let's see, you know, that, that's what, what keeps it going, you know, especially as a friend, you know, you guys might have like a common bond or a common denominator that you guys could share, but there's this one little aspect that kind of throws a monkey wrench into your friendship or your relationship with this person. But I really feel like, you know, that's actually really healthy. Okay. Let's see. Spirit, please reveal to me the energy of this person that is connected to Scorpios in love. What is the energy of this person that is connected to Scorpio in love? Who is the person that is connected to the sign of Scorpio? So I see her five wands, so they could be a little bit on guard or a little bit defensive. And I see that this is in regards to her higher self. So this could be the different pages, right? If you guys are spiritual, maybe you guys have different spiritual beliefs is what I'm feeling. And um, they're trying to get out of their head. So, okay. So Scorpio, I know that you're very intuitive and very psychic and, and gifted, right? In that way. But perhaps your person doesn't want to hear your perspective. Okay. So there are certain situations situations as a friend that you need to learn to read uh, deeper into your person's energy and know when to hold back uh, and not, um, you know, kind of uh, be uh, kind of uh, forthcoming with your energy, right? That's what I'm feeling. Um, also, uh, I see that your person is not in the energy of pursuing or approaching you energetically. They're a little bit held back. So I have a feeling that um, the type of person that you're connected with, they might be a little bit shy. Okay. I feel like this is a very reserved person. So they're not uh, the type who, who is going to take action. I have a feeling that Scorpio, you have been the one who has been taking the lead um, or in control over the situation with this particular person. And I see that um, maybe there was some things that haven't worked in the past and that's why your person is acting this way. So it's not that they don't want to approach you. They're just being uh, cautious. That's why I definitely see that there is a friendship that's brewing. First, establishing a trust in the connection between the two of you and then evolving um, that you guys are exclusive. You know, they're actually holding back from communicating their truth that, okay, so for some, there could be children and children could be affecting this relationship. Um, also, uh, the other thing I'm also getting is that um, there is a level of immaturity uh, in this person when they come and offer, I guess, uh, you know, just their viewpoint. Um this this individual is very reserved i don't know i have to put it out there because i'm getting this two times already it's a very uh, drawn back energy um i'm not getting a fire sign 
I really gets on who's subdued, very reclusive. Um, they kind of stick to themselves. Um, they're not very loud or boastful or anything like that. You know, they're not the type of person that's going to uh, take the lead per se. And it's all because of their past experiences with other people. Yeah, uh, I also see that they're emotionally not able to express themselves. So they're, they come off a little bit guarded from what I can see. They're, they're really shielding their, their heart. Um, that's why they're keeping it as a friend. So this person has an issue with being vulnerable, being uh, open with, uh, you know, just their raw, authentic self. But this is a slow process, okay? You have to practice patience with this person, okay, Scorpio? Um, Spirit is telling me that this is the type of person that wants to take things slow. They don't want to rush through it because they've been burned way too many times in the past. And what I'm seeing is that they keep thinking of the past. Now, you could have been included in their past energy and they realize that, wow. So you have possibly uh, offered them something, but your person was sitting here all by their lonesome with a third party. Okay. They, they didn't want to hear what you have to say because remember, Scorpio, you're intuitive, you're psychic. You were sending them messages. They didn't, they didn't want to hear. So I have a feeling for some, they were drowning themselves out in alcohol. Okay. Uh, they were only wanting to uh, be codependent on, um, this, uh, bottle over here. Okay. They didn't want to deal with this third party. Okay. But they were still having to, uh, work with that. Okay. So they're just tired of defending themselves. So I have a feeling like it's the straw that broke the camel's back. And um, yeah, they're just, they, they want to give in. They're tired. And they know that they need to heal. Okay. Uh, they definitely want to get out the separation between the two of you. They, they did a lot of thinking. And they realized that they weren't really open towards you. So I have a feeling that your person's energy is going to change in March. And so they're taking notes. And uh, what I'm seeing is that they want to work on the situation. Okay. Now I have a feeling that this person took way too long and it could have been a year. For some, maybe you're dealing with an earth sign. Okay. They just, they write things down. Um, they're very methodical. They, um, they just take their sweet time, you know? So if this is just, you know, a friendship, I have a feeling like, you know, enjoy the ride, right? Just be in the flow. <laughs> you know, they have been watching you and look, this person wants union. I see that they haven't been stable, but let's see. Yeah, there, some of them are getting out of a relationship, like a divorce or a commitment with another party. But let's go ahead and see. So they're thinking, okay, they, they had time to reflect. And um, if it's been about three years, they realized that uh, they're being selfish, okay? They're only thinking about themselves and they're the only ones that got hurt. I have a feeling that they were hurting other people in the process. Now, do you see that penguin? That penguin is pet petting uh, the head of that person. Now, I feel like that's you, Scorpio. You know, you're like, you know, you know that you're my divine counterpart and you hurt yourself in the process. And so now they're starting to see that they're the ones that left themselves out in the cold. Okay. That's what I'm seeing now. How do they feel? We have seven of cups in reverse with the hermit and also the two of cups. Now, this p person feels that um, they no longer uh, want to entertain uh, themselves with options, okay? I have a feeling that your person was open towards many friends, okay? They had friends beyond uh, the number that you could possibly count. And for some, this could be a Virgo, okay? What I'm seeing is that your person has done the reflection and they see that you know, they definitely want to open up an offer towards you. I see that within two months, your person could extend an offer. Okay. Um, I really feel like for somebody here, okay, maybe you guys are by the ocean or by water. Uh, maybe for some, you, you actually get to uh, take a little boat ride. Okay. That's for somebody, not for everyone. Uh, I definitely see a lot of water energy here. And um, 
I'm getting an Asian, Asian person. Whatever the case is, okay, um, I have a feeling that whoever this person is, okay, they want to extend an offer towards you, okay? This person had many options. They, they recognize that they just want you. So they just want to open up, make an announcement, okay, you know, let's be friends, you know, yada, yada. Then it's going to lead into a, uh, a relationship. So this is going to develop over time. And I feel like for some, it could be a, a matter of two months. Now, uh, what does this person want? Okay, so we have death in reverse, we have justice and ace of wands in reverse. So they want to hold themselves back and they want to do this fairly. For some, they're actually getting a divorce or getting out of a relationship or a situationship. That's why um, you guys can only be friends because if this person is still married, that's all they can really offer you anyways, right? Now with the death in reverse, that is your energy, Scorpio. So they realize that they can't let this thing go, but they know that um, they can't really pursue you 100%. So um, they want to do what's right this time they don't want to uh mess this uh friendship up you know because i definitely see that your person is returning um everything is checking out like their financial situation is getting better um they're going through some kind of legal situation so they're kind of like almost in the clear is what i'm picking up on and um they just know that they can't let you go they've made a decision that they want to open up towards you and i feel like this is in divine time now in the outcome Wow, we have your Queen of Swords with the Five of Cups and also the Seven of Swords in reverse. So your person isn't telling you that they are actually grieving, okay? They are grieving uh, this communication that they want to have with you. I have a feeling that this person had a hard time of expressing their, their truth, their feelings, okay? Especially feelings. They had a hard time of opening up emotionally and being vulnerable towards you. I have a feeling that if you guys get to see each other in the physical, um, there is going to be a lot of hugging, okay? Um, this person got out of a third-party situation that they always loved you. Okay, they always felt like you were their home. Um, they, they felt solace or comfort uh, in your arms is, is what I'm seeing here. And it hurts them to tell you the truth about what has happened. Okay, that um, they weren't being honest with you or they were keeping secrets. But the secret is, is that they secretly loved you this whole time. Okay, and I have a feeling that you know, this is for those who have been in separation with their lover. Um, and let's see. Yeah, so they're trying to release uh, this karmic. They're actively working on ending some kind of burden that they have, some kind of like, you know, thing that's weighing them back. That's why, again, okay, they just want to be your friend, okay? They don't want to, um, you know, make any promises towards you. I see that they're still kind of like letting go of a karmic situation, but it's very soon, okay? They're actually at the end of letting go of a karmic, and that's why they're not, you know, making promises to you. They're actually cleaning up. That's actually very positive. So let's see, what else does this person want to confess? Take it off and bear it all, okay? So uh, after you guys uh, get to the boyfriend-girlfriend stage, okay, uh, that is definitely going to happen. So they said, I've written entire messages to send to you, but I always end up deleting them. My fear of intimacy paralyzes me. You know, your person has a hard time of being intimate. And um, 
I feel like, well, they're not going to have a hard time if they're going to take it off and bear it all, right? Whatever this situation is, I really feel like it's a slow unfolding of a solid connection with your person. I have a feeling that whoever you're connected to, um, they're actually wrapping up loose ends with a karmic partner. They recognize their karmic situation and they're, they're coming to a close. Right now, they can only offer you a friendship, but I have a feeling that in the coming months, it's going to develop into a relationship okay that's what i'm saying so that's actually really good you know taking things slow and, and just being a friend right because i have a feeling that uh this friendship they they really love this friendship with you and i have a feeling like uh they're gonna take it to the next level in the coming months so let's see what is the guidance message that you have for scorpio at this time spirit We have 25 breakthrough new dimensions a new endeavor is on the horizon innovate energy wants to burst forth into your consciousness wow so from what i know is that whales carry a lot of information okay because whales are one of the largest animals it's like a submarine uh in the sea and uh the whale spirit um is is very intuitive uh when it comes to sending messages uh through water okay and water is your element scorpio and so if you want to reach uh new dimensions um you have to really open up towards new energy okay like i have a feeling that there is a new a renewal of a friendship uh it, it's actually going to feel refreshing it, it's going to feel really good this feels like a really good energy i haven't seen this energy in a long time and um i really like it guys so um yeah let me know if that happens so thank you all for watching and if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com you can also follow me on ig as scorpio moon intuition i hope y'all have a lovely day and i will see you next time Bye bye <music>